Hi, I'm Shomanjit Banerjee. Shine is my friend, and I'm studying uh, presently in second year masters in University of Hyderabad. Today, I will uh, stick to the point which he has asked me for. Uh, that the suggestions, last minute suggestions of uh, Central University of Hyderabad entrance examination. And so, guys, we start. So. Uh, in hcu uh, entrance you will see a different type of uh, thing which you can't see in uh, other entrance examinations after bsc like um, that uh, that is the special part of hcu uh, as it includes uh, mathematics in its uh, exam part and the pattern is uh, it's a simple pattern all the questions there are total 100 questions and all are one marks each and the negative markings like that uh, 0.33 per question means uh, if you um, three questions goes uh, carries away uh, cuts away one mark so uh, we will start today about the analysis it's a two hour, uh, two hour examination um, and uh, time really matters in the examination so you have to be a uh, little so I will uh, tell about the time management afterwards. First, I will discuss about the syllabus and uh, the strategy. So what I was telling that uh, the mathematics is an integral part of in this uh, in the examination, and it carries twenty marks, not ten or five marks, but twenty marks. Twenty, nearly uh, nineteen to twenty questions are there. So uh, and many of the students, as I uh, am seeing that uh, they fear mathematics so I've, I've done a detailed study of the years questions I've grouped in some few chapters like that uh, determinants and matrices in one group which nearly carries uh, two, one to two marks in every year then comes uh, the in the determinant matrices uh, you will uh, get to know the questions like that the a, the inverse of the matrix matrix uh, the solving the equations via matrix method solving the equations via Cramer's rule and the solving the determinant it means getting the getting the value of the determinant next comes uh, the part functions in which uh, limits functions maxima minima integration and de uh, differentiation are a part so in this portion uh, which is very crucial it carries a lot of marks nearly six to seven marks it carries and it's very important in odd even both the years so there's nothing more about to say in der derivatives and integration um, because uh, the portion you uh, we have done in class uh, to 11 12 in for integration or in the our bachelor's level is sufficient just you have to uh, memorize the formulas and few one or two typical problems it's nothing so difficult you can do that so next comes the coordinate geometry which is uh, feared by many students so for the coordinate geometry I will suggest uh, in the coordinate geometry I have kept the area volume and also the perimeter means the basic geometry we know and along with that the straight line circles and uh, parabola and ellipse so I will recommend you not to go uh, deeper in this topic try to uh, memorize the area volume perimeter these formulas and the circles center and radius formula and uh, the straight lines you know how the slope and this part you know so you don't you have to just stick to the just the main points in this topic next comes the trigonometry and complex numbers uh, nearly uh, three to two to three marks comes in this portion and uh, well often you uh, the, find the argument and solve the complex number or solve the trigonometric problem they have given a proof in a proving doesn't come which is our uh, majorly question comes in the our uh, other examinations next comes the probability vectors and statistics so a probability uh, nearly three to five marks it carries and I think uh, the probability they give it's not too difficult and the students can easily go with it and the vectors generally the dot product the cross product and the vector additions uh, you're using um, coplanarity methods and 
collinearity methods uh, vectors come and also about the uh, that probability permutation and combination one question uh, from the probability generally comes from permutation or either combination so uh, with this i complete the mathematics part and i will repeat once uh, for the determinant matrices you nearly can have the one or two marks for the functions six to seven marks for the coordinate geometry four to five marks and the trigonometry two to three marks the probability vectors and statistics we have nearly three to five marks and one other topic comes that is the series and the basic algebra that is of the solving equations uh, most of the year it comes one or two marks uh, you can either you can either choose it or you can leave it it's no problem so nearly 19 to 20 marks come from this topic so now i will shift to uh, the topic which i personally like that's the physical chemistry in the physical chemistry uh, the topics which have just similarly have grouped it that's the atomic structure quantum chemistry and uh, along with the spectroscopy in this topics uh, atomic structure we have uh, in our graduation level along with our class 12 level we have studied the atomic structure like uh, finding the longest wavelength the shortest wavelength and uh, finding the rydberg's number like this type of questions comes in the uh, entrance examination and the uh, you have you can find the ionization energy giving all the data they will give and you have to find it next comes to the quantum quantum you can uh, solve the particle in a box problems you can learn those things the particle in a box problem you can uh, also uh, use the um, the uh, few problems like the benzene and other nucleus how to arrange the electrons in respective uh, in respective orbitals uh, as a type of probability type of question comes in quantum like how you can arrange this this electrons in this portion like this part uh, this type of questions come and if you uh, kindly go through the paper you will see that in quantum many questions can be dug, uh, done but nearly majorly the question comes from that uh, the hydrogen atom that is the longest wavelength that which i just told now and next comes uh, the topic thermodynamics equilibrium both chemical and ionic so in thermodynamics uh, the type of questions uh, which uh, they give are generally finding the internal energy finding the thermodynamic parameters like internal energy pressure volume by giving other quantities they will give the problem and uh, like the chain the cycle they will give that uh, they will give the endothermic reaction or the exothermic reaction and they will tell you to find the delta g and uh, whether the reaction is spontaneous or not like this type of questions how will predict by mathematical analysis and in ionic equilibrium the extent of dissociation uh, lay satellias principle can come in chemical equilibrium and all, along with that a uh, few problems which we have done in like inorganic chemistry that uh, finding the pk and pkb this type of problems can also come in ionic equilibrium part next comes the topic kinetics where the order of the reaction majorly the question in uh, every exam it comes the order of the reaction uh, finding uh, various orders and along with the there sometimes it tells about the uh, rate constant uh, the unit of the rate constant uh, giving higher orders and also a uh, very important that is the half life next we come to gaseous state in the gaseous state they generally give uh, you have to learn the formulas of the root mean square the average speed and also the uh, 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 speed at uh, rms speed uh, average speed and also the mean speed and then uh, we go to the gas problems in the gas like it comes uh, mix with the thermodynamic problems at the mixing portion the mixing of gases and also the, the questions come like this uh, that uh, you have uh, this amount of gas equilibrated in a container you have to uh, tell how much amount of uh, pressure we have to give like pv equal to nrt problems we have we have solved earlier this type of problems the basic uh, gas problems comes in 
this portion next comes the topic solid state so in the solid state topic uh, we can see that the finding the distance between two planes the miller indices and along with uh, that uh, that 2d equal to that the formula of alpha sin theta that portion is also important in that the reflection of the planes along with the other things like uh, they have given something uh, angle and you have to find the diffraction then comes the liquid which highly uh, uh, which the which generally doesn't comes in this examination but in one year in 2018 it has come that the capillary the contact angle and the capillary radius like this and next comes the topic of electrochemistry like in electrochemistry the potential like uh, finding the del g uh, evaluating the delhi delhi not also the problem of the faraday's first law and second law and we have a short topic polymer and adsorption which is not so important but generally one mark question comes from poly polymer or either adsorption and also from colligative properties so these two topics if uh, someone is very interested in physical chemistry he can go through otherwise you people can omit the major topics here in this part are the atomic structure and quantum thermodynamics kinetics gaseous state solid state and electrochemistry so i will tell the marks division in the quantum portion nearly 5 to 7 marks come every year in the thermodynamic portion nearly 5 to 10 marks come there is a bit a big variation in the kinetics 2 to 3 marks in the gaseous state 3 to 5 marks and in the solid state 2 to 4 marks in the electrochemistry nearly every year 2 to 3 marks comes next comes a short topic it's uh, analytical and practical chemistry nearly every year 3 to 4 marks comes like when we uh, which test which uh, what is the what type of gas which gives greenish yellow color uh, or when what happens when you dissolve sulfuric acid into kmno4 like this type of question comes in analytical and practical chemistry